Have any of you ever wondered if there's life beyond our own planet? And wait, before you answer, I'm not talking about those alien worlds you see on TV or those little green men with those antenna things. No, I'm talking about infinite universes. The theory of the multiverse. My name is Lucy and I'm here to explore that theory with you today. The theory of the multiverse has been around since ancient Greeks. However, only until a couple of decades ago, it was science fiction and not considered true science. Scientists proposed the idea that these universes came from the, a big bang, which was obviously the collision of atoms. However, they all exist simultaneously to one another. And for example, I have these Jenga blocks down here. I'd like you to think of it as this. So I want you to imagine each of these Jenga blocks uh, represents a moment in time. This one could be World War I, and this one could be World War II. Each event links on to the next, leading to one final outcome. However, what if we were to alter an event, or better yet, remove it from history altogether? What would happen? Well, I am about to show you. If we were to take out, say, this event from history altogether, it will all lead to one final outcome, which is totally different from the outcome before. And another example I could give is of the person who invented penicillin. He rather lazily forgot to clean away his cultures of Staphylococcus aureus. Now, that's a difficult word to say. <laughs> and he was stunted to find that their growth had been prevented by a mole called Penicillium notatum, or in human words, penicillin. And think, there could be a world where penicillin didn't exist. So most of the people we know and love wouldn't be here today. And probably neither would we. I think there could be a world where Boris Johnson is the bin man. And the bin man is the prime minister. And think, oh, there might be a world out there where my brother is actually kind. And doesn't break wind in my room, shut the door, lock it, and run away, leaving me trapped inside to, to inhale seems what poisonous gas. But you may ask, can we somehow travel to another universe? Well, if scientists could actually find a way to somehow turn to that universe, they may not actually be able to survive. If they're, if they're, they're uh, can't speak now. If their charge of the electron is different due to their different laws of physics, then they may just turn into a pile of goo under the floorboard. So unfortunately, at this moment in time, it is impossible to prove the theory of the multiverse. However, Astrophysicists from all across the world hope that one day technology will be developed just enough to allow us to determine if this crazy hypothesis is in fact true. And maybe science will be developed enough to allow us to actually see one of these universes or visit them ourselves instead of going abroad. And maybe I could meet a version of my brother that isn't a total pain. Thank you for listening. And I hope you all learned a little something about the theory of the multiverse. Fantastic, multiverse, another fantastic presentation, well done. And um, we're going to go to our, our judges now, and does one of any judges have questions? Yeah, um, really interesting topic, very, very hard to get your head around, and when you think you have, you suddenly realise you haven't. How did you go about researching all of this? Um, so one of my heroes is Neil deGrasse Tyson, I've always uh, been like interested in astrophysics and all his work, so when I thought I'd do the theory of the multiverse, because I've always wondered, like, if there's other world, because I didn't really believe in like aliens or people on other planets. So I decided to research that a bit more. And then when I came across, he made a video about it. I got like really excited and spent like a few days constantly on the laptop watching his videos. Cool. Thank you. And thanks, Adam. Joel. Yeah, I mean, it's such a big topic and you only got three minutes, haven't you, to put all of that information in there. There must have been some things that you would have liked to have included in your talk, but you couldn't. Is there anything you'd like to mention now? Mm. Um, sort of that like all this links to quantum mechanics and obviously the biochemistry but that was a bit too I couldn't get my brain around that that was too complex for me to understand so I understood it at first and then the next day when I tried to add it into my speech it I just couldn't remember it so I cut it out altogether I couldn't get my head around it either so that's <laughs> a good plan <laughs> well done thank you Lisa brilliant thank you thank you very much well done